Captain Nancy Gitwanja was not meant to fly the police helicopter that crashed and killed her and five other people, including Internal Security Minister George Saitoti. Now, the Commission of Inquiry into the Ngong tragedy had that another pilot, Captain Joseph Kuto, was supposed to fly the plane that Sunday morning. What number of people? Had there not been a shift change on the morning of the 10th of June 2012, the story of how the police chopper carrying the late George Saitoti and five others went down would have been told slightly different. A change is made on the 9th. We are now on the 9th. 9th, yes. And on 9th, you are telling the commission the persons to fly the AS350 is Oyugi and yourself. That's correct, John. Would you agree that is a change to what is in the weekly order? Apparently there was a shift change on the 9th of June that could have changed the fate of late Captain Nancy Gitwanja. The people who flew is Nancy Gitwanja and Oyugi. Would you agree that is yet a second change from the crew that were there on the 10th, on the 9th? That's correct, John. But the common feature in all those changes is that Bithi does not fly either on the 9th, he doesn't also fly on the 10th. Government analyst Catherine Morumba gave her account before the commission and accused investigators of laxity, claiming that the evidence took well over two weeks to be delivered to her office. Ideally, shouldn't it have been almost immediately thereafter? Ideally, yes. Almost immediately like, thereafter. Within a week. Fine. Why are we going to a week, Catherine? Or, <laughs> our, I think our machinery is a bit slow. I don't know why. <laughs> but if you want the best results now as a scientist, and you are now talking to us as the society, we want the best results from you. By what time should we bring the samples to you? Of course, as fast as possible. As fast as possible. Yes. The Commission of Inquiry, chaired by Justice Kaplana Rawal, has adjourned till Monday. Catherine Omwanto, KTN.